in this entrepreneurs converts the ideas into viable opportunities see uh, we discussed this thing covid 19 has been you know a kind of uh, uh, you know opportunity for some some entrepreneurs but whereas uh, it has been disastrous for most of them for a kind of operator that is for the people who wanted to develop ventilators uh, those people who wanted to develop ppe kits so these these for these kind of entrepreneurs it was an uh, you know in opportunity they convert the entrepreneur now sees that suddenly there is a crisis so in this crisis how can i best uh, uh, utilize this or uh, you know uh, how can i convert this uh, crisis into an opportunity so this is what they now they stopped the chinese pp kits but they started developing within india so uh, this, this is a kind of you know entrepreneurship though it was uh, you know motivated and uh, helped by pm modi in this regard but what happens is finally the entrepreneurs should be in a capable of converting that opportunities so that is what is the main thing but here in in case of intrapreneurs they takes the responsibility of creating innovation only they create the innovation but they can't uh, uh, find the, the opportunity whether it can be successful or not so that is not possible for them so that is the difference then we have the entrepreneur takes the profit of the business he takes the profit of course he is the owner whole soul owner of the company so he takes the profit whatever profit is there he will take it so now here he is provided with the variety of pre requisite for his innovation there may be a certain like no innovation maybe for a innovation okay that uh, entrepreneur will decide okay 10% of your salary hike in case if you accomplish this uh, project or 25% uh, salary hike or incentive will be given to you for doing the work something like that so is it clear the difference between entrepreneur and intrapreneur anyone any doubt in this please interact for the god sake please for god sake please interact if you do not interact this will be like you know very bad kindly interact please this is the opportunity you should always uh, explore i know i know difficulties i can understand your situation because you are a little shy you don't want to discuss or you, you lack of knowledge and so i can i can i can understand but this is an opportunity you should always uh, see that learn uh, interact so that this will be definitely beneficial for your career once you go to the company what will happen suddenly person will call for a meeting now you have to undertake a meeting and you have to conduct talk and interact that time if you sit like this uh, it will be you know you will be fired within seconds so kindly please understand this is the opportunity you can interact talk you can talk in kannada also no issue but talk start with that is kannada hindi whatever language you want to talk please talk if somebody can talk here telugu also no issue if somebody can talk uh, marathi also no issue these four languages i can speak but preferably i prefer that you should speak in english if it is possible but at least kindly speak can i can you able to hear me i hope i am uh, there with the connection who is this 105 105 usn yes sir yeah there okay good yes sir 15 yes sir yeah <laughs> 105 he is not he is you are taking on his behalf huh? 105 no sir i am i am 15 sir yeah, 105 is now chatting uh, he is chatting he is good he is yeah, not interested to talk huh? Uh, who is this? Zero five four. Are you there? Zero five four. Yes, sir. Zero five four is there. Yes, sir. Ah, is you are there? Okay, fine. Okay, and uh, who else? Zero seven two. Are you there? Zero seven two. Yes, sir. Ah, okay. Fine. okay then everyone is listening but uh, you don't want to transmit okay i'll give some time for you please transmit next time okay you should not sit like that otherwise it will know you will lose out uh, an important this thing so there is something called the difference between manager and entrepreneur so we have seen manager also we have seen the manager roles also and we have seen the intrapreneur we have seen the entrepreneur so we have seen the difference between entrepreneur and intrapreneur so now we will see difference between manager and an entrepreneur so your manager who is a manager what is a manager you have seen sbi manager you heard his name no sbi bank manager what is his role so please understand so that is see entrepreneur 
in the main motive of an entrepreneur is to start a venture uh, for his personal gratification so please this understand this personal gratification his own uh, venture but here the manager main motive of the manager is to render services in an enterprise already set by someone else the company is already existing he is part of that company he will just carry on the normal routine to conduct the uh, services to render the services he will just come and do the routine job manager he will manage the things so he is a manager entrepreneur he is a person who start his own venture so so that's why i call it as uh, entrepreneur is a owner manager is a, a servant why i am servant why i am telling you servant means not that servant uh, maid servant or something but servant means what we call government officials that's why yeah, there are so, so many government officials uh, who we whom we call as government servant government servant means we are serving the government but uh, sba is also say, you know semi semi government sort of thing so they they the managers are called as the servants and also uh, we have a, you know uh, bell bharat electronics limited bl bl so bell also we have dgm the deputy general manager general man gm is there and also we have a bsnl bsnl also we have gm general manager we have deputy general managers and we have the, the managers so all those they are actually working for the companies so they are they are servant though a gm is a head of the institution at particular points but he cannot be called as an entrepreneur he still be called as a servant only gm of a bsnl general manager he is the top most uh, person in bangalore in every city we have gms gm of bsnl bangalore in areas we have different in ramnagar gm is different uh, in the northern bangalore is gm is different so likewise similar we have gms in different uh, cities so mtnl the mumbai also they have gms of their different roles so all that things but all the uh, gms general managers they all come under one person at the highest level bsnl topmost person which is in delhi so that is the headquarter which is there there it is they are controlling so if we can sometimes call them that gen manager of whole bsnl who is sitting in the delhi head office so he we call it as a call him as a entrepreneur but general managers they are all under him so can really understand this uh, difference so the person who is owner means he is the head of the institution head of the company the servant means any person working under the owner sir uh, so here why why i am putting these slides very important for you uh, see kindly understand one thing uh, okay i will come out of this slide because this is very important for you as an engineer uh, what happens is when we uh, take up some job now when we go uh, like say example uh, you go for a company or even if i join in armed forces uh, air force wherever you go what happens is you know uh, there are certain people like you are all engineers you have done b b tech you have joined company there are certain other areas where some people like they are uh, not engineers they are uh, you know bcom graduates they will be in the financial department and there are certain people uh, a ba a person who has done a bachelor of arts what happens is this bugger will uh, uh, do mba he will do after a ba he will do mba and he uh, uh, picks up some good to this thing and he comes and sit on your head you are btech and but you are you are a btech but you are an engineer he will be working but uh, uh, because of his virtue of his uh, masters degree and in mba and all he come and sit in front of he will be a general manager sort of thing a manager who is sitting on top so what happens is at times you feel a, a kind of uh, in insecurity or a kind of a feeling is there you know i am a btech graduate and that guy is a, a ba arts and uh, he, he is ruling me this is this is the situation happening so uh, is not only that be be only is not the ultimate uh, this thing you uh, uh, that's why this management concept has been developed in the vtu syllabus so why because you should also have the management skills to so how to uh, control the things this we we have seen lacking in the engineers these engineers now we are lacking in this now in our case there is there are lot many issues are coming up sometimes what happens is you have to this not always i am not telling that every time you have to work under a, a non graduate or non engineer like that but it at times you may have to work at times it happens the, in the certain situations you have to work under a, a b not a bcom graduate uh, who has uh, just done a mcom or sort of thing so sometimes it happens so there uh, the ego clashes will happen 
so many times you know they you will not uh, agree with him he will not agree with him so in the armed forces also this has happened when i was uh, you know ceo i was commanding officer i was you know in fact you can call me as an entrepreneur that time because one of the unit i was heading i was heading one of unit as a technical person i was the in charge of the whole technical process and everything the whole unit was a technical unit so i was made as a the ceo of the unit i was controlling but what happened was there were certain uh, agencies you know there are some uh, administrative officers are there chief administrative officers chief uh, engineering officers chief uh, operations officers so uh, in air force when you talk about the whatever happens in the flying branch flying uh, related operations that those things we call it as operations and anything related to engineering aspects we call it as a uh, engineering branch that is a, there is a chief engineering officer for that and there is a person called a, a chief administrative officer he is responsible for the all administration of the uh, the whole uh, whole station air force station let's say so what happens is i as a commanding officer uh, though i am independent for myself i am uh, independent for my operations i am supposed to do anything but for certain things i have to go and talk to the chief administrative officer i have to go and uh, you know uh, i have to liaise with him for certain things so certain administrative uh, requirements like suddenly if i want to you know set up a, a camp in outside area where i need a security because i am a technical person i have any technical equipment tomorrow i may have to go to the border and place this technical equipment and i have to do certain operations i have to do certain kind of you know just scanning the enemy and some sensing and all i do using my rf radio frequency sensors now for that if i want to take that equipment okay fine i am a ceo i will take my unit and i'll go and keep everything now i need a security for that for physical security that means if anything if somebody a militant or some kind of other person will come and attack me or may they may take snatches or uh, the equipment technical equipment something may happen isi agents you must have seen uh, the parama parama movie similar situation you here also in bangalore so many isi agents are there any time they will come and attack us anything can happen so similarly when we go to border also there are their isi agents roaming around here and there not to protect from themselves we have to have some security for that i have to uh, approach the administrative officer now he will give uh, sometimes uh, that uh, now he will give the approval from okay let okay you go i will give the security so the, sometimes you have to report to some administrative heads though i am a wing commander he will be a group captain higher than one rank higher to me but he is responsible for the uh, administrative he is a bcom graduate he could be a ba graduate so these things are there these differences will have though there are fights happening in the organization but how you maintain the relationship how you conduct yourself that itself is the man that itself uh, uh, you know takes you a long way so that's why i'm telling you in companies also this thing happen corporate companies also these are things will happen you are engineer you will uh, go there and suddenly you find that uh, your own non engineering branch he is not an he is not having any idea on the engineering but he will be sitting on your top on your head just to supervise there may be some five two to three engineers under him so he will be monitoring that what happened why happened he, because he has done mba he has done mba and he knows things and how to do conduct so that's why the, you have been also now trained as a managers and now here you know you should understand what is a manager and what is a, a kind of entrepreneur so uh, you can be become entrepreneur for yourself you can become a manager technical manager there are technical managing also a manager also there are administrative managers also there are hr managers also so, so all managers are same but they are having different roles to play so kindly understand so in the initial stage when you are actually conducting uh, working under some corporate and all so you are engineer you are basically a small engineer who is working for a company so so many time hr manager will call you he will conduct the interview for you so a hr manager is known he is just a simple person with an mba degree may um, could be a diploma in management but he will not have any uh, you know a technical degree he is an hr manager human resource development you know. he will not have any technical but he will conduct your interview he will uh, select you so these are the actual uh, uh, problems in the uh, situation like organization behavior and organization structure so uh, i'm just telling you because don't get disheartened but you know what uh, what i mean to the first to best way to solve is um, you do be b tech and uh, take up some management courses maybe after a uh, b degree don't stick to that b only if i complete my b b then i it's all over 
I uh, can do anything on. Please don't uh, have such. Uh, you know, you should always uh, diversify your. Uh, um, you know, uh, your uh, uh, what you say the qualification and uh, as per the requirement. I don't say that you uh, everyone should do M Tech and everyone should do PhD. It is up to you uh, how to go and what to do. But uh, yes, some management uh, uh, things are required. A degree is required a little bit uh, so that you can have some kind of. Uh, um, management concepts developing. See, otherwise, what happens is in a kind of a setup in our organization where uh, you will be having the different uh, people across you. There may be a financial person and uh, uh, a technical person, a, uh, a kind of administrative person. All these things. Like example, I'll give you a best example to give you is uh, uh, in uh, Indian Institute of Science um, uh, because I'm staying there. I know how the work, things are working there. There is a financial uh, angle. Uh, for to give an example, uh, I will just go give my own uh, wife's example. My wife is an engineer, electronics and communication engineer. She joined Navy. She got retired from Navy and joined the Indian Institute of Science after doing SSB, uh, SS, uh, short service commission. Uh, she joined as assistant registrar administration. Then she was uh, she was uh, transferred to finance and accounts. Can you believe this? An engineer who has done electronics and communication engineering and uh, she has uh, done all that thing and then uh, after that uh, she worked for uh, engineering this thing for 12 years then she is taking up a job which is a financial you know this thing. So can you believe this? So this this is what uh, is uh, sometimes it happens. Now so that means bottom line engineer can do anything any work in the world. So that is the, that is I understood. So I know people are leaving. Uh, please don't leave. I will just complete this slide then you can take it up. So, or should we continue in the next class? What do you want? See, I want that you should, uh, you know, understand the concept. You should understand, interpret, and with the practical uh, issues, you should really correlate. That is what is. Uh, see, otherwise, this subject is very, you know, uh, is not a technical subject. We have to interact and we have to discuss this. So it's almost one one twenty seven now. So what do you want? You want to interact or you want to uh, talk? Or you have any kind of doubt? Any doubt? Archana? Okay, we'll continue in the next class. I got a chart from someone. Okay, please okay. tell me what is... Uh, okay, I'll take another uh, maybe one minute or so. We'll uh, stop it, okay? Okay, tell me, uh, have you understood? Is there any doubt in your mind regarding uh, entrepreneur, entrepreneur and the managers? Managers, of course, we'll, we'll take up in the next listening class. Yes, oh, 113, USN 113. I will not call by name, but I'll call by USN. USN 113. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Any doubt? No doubt? No, sir. No doubt? Okay, fine, good. Um, uh, then it's okay. Then people are understood. I know I am trying my best to uh, uh, educate you in terms of management and all because. Uh, you know, I have done my uh, master's diploma in management from Symbiosis Institute of Management Sciences uh, in Pune. Uh, so that was part time I did uh, when I was in, uh, you know, uh, different profession. Yes. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, I know a little bit on the, I, I always correlated with this. So a management uh, diploma or a degree will help you in long way. So kindly after BTEC, you kindly either go for you know, so those people who are interested into uh, teaching line, they can do MTech and PhD. If somebody is interested in, uh, you know, kind of management and other things, they can also do MBA and all and take up some, do it from good college, try to appear for CAT and all. So it will be, it will helpful, uh, it, will, it will be helpful for you all. Okay. So, okay. Nice uh, interaction with you guys. If you have any queries, let me know. If somebody wants to ask any question uh, uh, outside the class also, welcome. Uh, if somebody is shy and is unable to uh, interact, so please uh, you can talk to me. You can call me also and uh, clarify your doubts. Please don't have any doubts in your mind regarding any uh, technical thing or any uh, this management concepts and skills. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a nice time. Good day.